What inspired the development of Aim to Flourish? What was the impetus? This idea was um, percolating in David Cooper Ryder's mind for probably decades, but at least more than a decade ago when I took his class on appreciative inquiry, and he's one of the fathers of appreciative inquiry, um, and I had, as a reporter, such a deficit based brain, always thinking about problems, what's wrong, couldn't wait to tell you about a company doing something bad. It is so refreshing to use this other part, you know, to kind of reconnect my synapses and in a new way, to think about, well, who's doing it right, and where are they, and what are they doing, and how can we shine a bright light on that? So David's original idea, and he's an you know, incredible visionary and missionary, was to think about a Nobel Prize for business. Why isn't there a Nobel Prize for business? Why not? But what emerged was, why don't we celebrate the many? Rather than just taking one business and saying, look at this, why not you know, shed a bright light across the planet looking at ways that companies are tackling these sustainable development goals and giving students the opportunity to play the role of detective and do the research and write it up and have the, this experiential learning. It's really transformative management education. They get out of the classroom, and they do this work, they're inspired, the business leader is inspired, and the world gets, gets to read about what they've uncovered. You know, I remember um, at the Global Forum this past uh, year, I think it was in June, uh, you had just launched and you were pretty excited about that. And, uh, but already you've begun to see the impact of some of your work. Yeah, it's amazing. Actually, when we first spoke, Dan, um, we were um, very much a pilot project and very beta. And I still feel that we're beta. I mean, we're listening intently to what the professors um, give us in the way of feedback. We have monthly global calls um, on the third Wednesday of the month that, where we listen to, okay, what works and what are the stories that you have to tell and what kinds of questions do you have? And the, this professor community is networking with each other also. We have learned that, yeah, sometimes a, a job emerges for the student or a mentoring kind of relationship where the student has, has told us that they feel that they have somebody who's going to be there for them when, when they graduate. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the word, you know, aim to flourish really means something to me. I feel like sustainability isn't really enough. Sustainable is kind of like holding the line, mm -hmm. and flourishing is going beyond, is really creating um, the kind of planet and, you know, place for humanity that we need. We do need to get rid of poverty and hunger. We do need to address water issues and the environment and, and gender equality and peace. If we, if, if we do all of that right, and it's the next business leaders that are going to really be tasked with it, then um, the world's going to be okay. So what's next? What's next for Aim to Flourish? Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, well, we're really interested in exploring uh, languages. We feel that you know um, English is a popular language, but not the only language out mm -hmm. there. And some of the feedback from professors have said that it would be easier if um, the students could work in their native language. One of the professors, George Dion in Mexico, has already he completely translated the professor toolkit into Spanish, and he is kind of some of the professors are acting like coaches for other professors. Isabel Romanacci is another professor here in Florida who is just um, amazing in terms of um, a visionary and somebody who is very creative in, in her thinking and big heart and um, has invited, has really helped us expand the word to professors. And we have five schools that, are, that have made Aim to Flourish a core curriculum requirement, including David Cooper Writer is using it with appreciative inquiry now, uh, where the students sure. automatically yeah, Perfect. file their stories on Aim to Flourish. How yes. can other business <laughs> schools get involved? Oh, with please, it? yes. Um, I, um, we work with a lot of them, you know, 1,500 yeah. business schools in and 90 Case countries. Case Western Reserve University sure. is, is one, one of, of them. Our. We are really hopeful that um, other universities will also pick this initiative up. It, it belongs to the world. We are um, here to help. We have a very tiny, mighty little staff. Um, but we are, and, and then we have these professors who are excited about how it's working and are also sharing what works and, and um, t 
tweaking a as we go. So I invite anybody watching this to go to aimtoflourish.com, aim number two, flourish.com, and create a profile and, and just, you know, take a look Start under the learn. hood. Yeah. Start to <laughs> learn about it. And join us. It.